Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Mandel's Maze Mayhem, here on Colorful Artie's channel. This time, I'm actually recording it blind, so we won't get post-commentary videos, although people didn't seem to mind. We're on level 26, we are officially halfway through the game, we're starting World 6 today, which is the Dusk Garden. Oh, wow. Jeepers, it looks like we have a lot of coat seeds to pick up. So I figured it would be this tile set. Did not expect the dark green slimy background, though. I was expecting another one of the orange backgrounds, because dusk. Maybe they're waiting for Sunset Cave to get that. Alright, that's possible. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Can't really figure out the gimmick of this area. Or the world, for that matter. We've got kelp seed behind. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. This is the gimmick. I was wondering when these would come out. I actually like these. These weren't used a whole lot in the actual game, and apparently you have to swim two squares away before it'll launch the bubbles. Interesting. We've got floating hinges. That's also something I haven't seen in the game before. Oh, that worm doodle didn't last very long at all. Alright, well this is a pretty darn simple level to the world, I must say. I really- I must say, I do adore the colored green, so I'm really digging the tile set thus far. It's just not what I expected. Oh, uh, come on. Open the door. 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 Ah, you were just a smidge too late. Uh-uh. All right. Let's try that again. That was a tiny level. Only two rooms. Oh. Thank goodness the shark was phenomenally stupid. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Not losing one of my seven lives this time. No sorry, sponge heads. All right, that was pretty simple level, except for that end part where I had to use a bubble. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? You've got all the bubble hatches, but <laughs> no vertical space for them to move? Okay. So pausing the level to begin with. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So this is going to require real tight timing on that. We're going to need to hit one of these, move away, and hope that it traps the guy or just use bubble bath. Okay. There is another room. We need three purple sea urchins in order to get through there. Okay. Okay, I think I get what this is all about. That's actually pretty clever. <laughs> Might not be what I would do, but alright. I'm gonna wait for the blowfish down there to kind of move a bit, because we're gonna need this sponge to help us out. Just like that. Alright. Okay, so the timing on that is not as bad as I was expecting. And it's actually pretty clever the way they're using these. I can't help it, I gotta get me that purple sea urchin. I wanna get the bubble. And I especially wanna get the worm doodle uh, bubble at the end. Goodbye. Alright. Same thing down here, we're gonna push the sponge down here. Gotta wait for the blowfish to move for a bit. Thank you. Alright. So we gotta leave a, a, a kelp seed behind here. Oh wow, we have okay two purple sea urchins down here. We need a starfish and we need the spiral shell. Well, guess that's the cup seat I'm leaving behind. Uh oh, not the what a life. Uh oh. 
leave me alone. Oh, that's... That was dumb. Not a whole lot I could have done there. I had bubble bath, but A, I wanted to save it, and also B, I couldn't get a good shot on it. Okay, don't come down here. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Now we can get our prizes. Oh, where did that sandwich come from? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. There was a sandwich at the end there. The sandwiches d aren't a random spawn. The sandwiches always show up, but it didn't show up earlier. Go back, Artie, go back and show the past footage and show show everybody that the sandwich was not there earlier. See? See? Like, come on. What the heck happened there? Were there, were there, were there too many sprites on screen so it stopped loading them? That's the only thing I can, only explanation I can think of. Thank you. Alright, that was a fun level. <laughs> really clever use of the bubble vaults at the beginning. That, I, didn't, I did not expect you to do that, but that actually turned out to be a really fun puzzle. Thank you for using the blowfish as enemy to, to get past, and not, say, any other enemy. I really do appreciate that. All right, level 28. We got a bubble. We got a worm doodle. Let's like kick some butt. Okay. Wham, wham. <laughs> that's a shame. That's actually kind of a cool puzzle to do at the beginning. That's actually a really nice use of the purple gate there. Looks like we gotta conserve our purple sea urchin. Alright. I see you up there. Darn it! Alright. Take that. Darn it, that gate keeps closing. No, my bubble! And the award for the whiniest voice goes to <laughs> Colorful Artie. <laughs> My bubble! Alright. I have one other starfish. Okay. If I go down, I get another starfish. Well, that settles that. <laughs> oh, thank you, Pearls, for all spawning in this room. Now then, I have a purple sea urchin. This is the only other room, so... This world seems significantly easier than the last few worlds. Wow, good pearl spawns. I'm sounding like a real speed right now. Oh, I didn't even plan that. Oh, okay. Just noticed those fish bones up there. Very nice. Uh, that's less nice, though. <laughs> if I ever make an official Maze Madness Land pack, uh, level pack, I promise people one of the worlds will be called Land of the Duda Huts. Aw, <laughs> oh, man. Then again, I have so many projects I'm working on, I can't promise a Maze Madness level pack. Wow, levels here are real short. Either that or I'm just getting better at the game. Or maybe maybe a combination of the two, but we only have two levels left, and we're not even ten minutes into the video, so... This is gonna be fantastic. Look at all those kelp seeds! Alright, now we're getting a bit more complicated. Although, wait, hang on. This is, is this a single room level? It looks... I don't see any other rooms. Okay! Interesting. Well, for starters... Alright, so I gotta wait for the bullfish to get away from the whirlpool. Hi, Mr. Krabs. Looking good, Mr. Krabs. Oh no, oh no, oh no. That was a dirty trick, Uncle Donald. I gotta check to see where all these lead. Uh-oh. Oh no, I'm out of my bubble bath. So 
So now what a life is gonna be a huge pain in the patootie. Oh, come on! Come on, man! The squid, I swear, are some of the most intelligent creatures in the game. No, um, nope. Yeah, it's moving. Gotta wait for him to go into the upper right corner up there. He's just patrolling the stupid whirlpool! Get out of my way! There we go. That's what I was waiting for. What a life! Alright. Now I know why the pebbles are here. To minimize the luck involved. That's what you're supposed to use the pebbles for. The problem is I had no way of knowing which of the whirlpools the pebbles would end up in. So that's a bit of a shame. Oh man, that was actually pretty close. Will they converge? Oh, just not. Alright. Now they should converge pretty nicely, I think. Uh -huh. I actually kind of like that puzzle. It's all about timing. Man, for a single room, this level is pretty tricky. I must admit, I didn't give it enough credit for that. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> Alright, I can't remember which whirlpool leads to the crab. I think it's the one right up here. I'm gonna have to wait for the crab to get out of the way before I go in. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, wrong! Never! That's right. Oh, shoot. Oh, come on! Ah, oh, just barely not enough time. Those stupid crabs are ridiculously fast when it comes to scuttling sideways. Alright, that was tough, but doable. And again, we are not even at the 15 minute mark, and we're on the level 30. Last level of the Dusk Garden. Not really sure what's so dusky about this. And this looks like another single room level. No, never mind. No, it's not. <laughs> Alright, well, we got a lot of starfish to begin with, so. Let's get on here and try to find some starfish. Oh, I like the complicated look of this level already. So we can use the spiral shell to get either bubble bath or the sand dollar and the scepter. Obviously we want to get the bonus room scepter. Also, gotta figure out where the bonus room entrance is. Let's see... In this tile set, it's gonna the crack is gonna blend in very well with the walls. I can already tell. Don't really see it in here. Go away, 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 go away! You butt. There's no way out of that one. So I could get a bubble, but... I really do need a purple sea urchin. Oh, this is complicated. Also, bonus crack. Is it in this room? Not really seeing the bonus crack anywhere. I've, I've got to get this. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. Am I 
of screwed again? I probably am, because the crabs are very intelligent. What was that I was saying about crabs being very intelligent? Don't get me. Oh, you butt! I'm starting to see where bubble bath would be very useful. Okay. Okay, so hang on. It, the crack has got to be in this room somewhere. No, I don't see it anywhere. Of course, that could just be my bad eyesight, but... Alright, we need another starfish and another sand dollar. I bet I already screwed things up, didn't I? I bet you I already screwed things up. Bet you I already screwed the pooch. Well, hey not. Whatever place could I open, though? Because I couldn't open the one down here because I can't destroy the sponge. Those two just led to a spiral shell. So there's gotta be... something that can be done. I'm not really seeing it, though. This is a complicated level. Hey, I don't even know where the bonus room is. Look at all those kelp seeds. The crack is very well hidden with this tile set where everything's really dark. I gotta get that first stuff. I got to. No two ways about it. I'm on to your tricks this time, Squid. I'm not gonna let you corner me. Yeah, this way. Alright, so in this room, the only thing I can open would be the way to the bubble, and that leads me to a dead end. So I have to go back to this room if I want a chance at finding all the pieces in the last room. Okay, the, the, sh the sharks are simultaneously really smart and really stupid at the same time. Okay. Mm. So I thought Purple Sea Urchin is the way to go. I'm pretty sure Purple Sea Urchin is the way to go. Oh. Mm. I see. I can't destroy that sponge. I didn't think that sponge had a purpose, but it actually does, and that's really clever. So now we go to this room, back to this room, and we need to get us a spiral shell, and hope that that dust squid isn't going to trap us. Oh, this is really clever. This is really clever! Mandel, you, re you know how to make some really good puzzles. Alright. I do not like the way that the shark is going, so I'm going to bait him a bit. No, if the shark goes over there, it's kind of all over, so get back here. <laughs> oh yeah, sure, crab, come over here too. I actually like this. The crab, because he's so slow at moving up and down, will probably block the shark from getting back out. 
I actually really like that. Okay. So I'm gonna leave the kelp seed down there for the last. So with this spiral shell, we can now open this gate. Now go here, use the sponge to turn us around because of the bubbles, and now we get a starfish and a sand dollar. We do not want to open any of the starfish gates in here because all that would lead to is a spiral shell or a place that we've already went. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this one little bit. I like that though. Wow, that's one of the stupidest crabs I've seen in this game. And that includes regular Maze Madness. Thank you. Okay. So we gotta open these. We get another starfish. Now we gotta go back there and get a spiral shell. And we also gotta hope that the squid isn't going to be a huge jerk and constantly follow us. Which of course he's going to be. This is bogus. Oh. You can argue that the, the dogfish are the hardest enemies. There's a good case for that. I would venture to say that the enemies that cause me the most annoyance, though, are the crabs and the squid. Because the dogfish... The dogfish are incredibly predictable, at least. You always know exactly where the dogfish is going to go at all times. Because it will always follow wherever you are on the map. The crabs and the squid, however, are just dumb enough that you can underestimate them. So, for example, okay, this squid is the biggest piece of garbage I've ever seen. Every time we enter the room, he turns around and follows us, and we can't lose him. This is not going to be very good for speedruns. I also have no idea, I have no idea at all, where the bonus room is going to open. Interesting, would not have guessed that. I didn't see a crack there. But also, it probably blends in with the wall perfectly, because the walls are dark greenish black. Oh, thank you, I need these sandwiches. Gimme that sandwich. If I can get a sandwich just by getting enough points in here as well, that would be great. That might make up for all the sandwiches I've lost on this level, because the squid was being a piece of... junk. <laughs> you don't get an extra life when you reach 10,000 points? Oh, that's such a wonderful number to give you an extra life. I still love how you get like the really ominous, dark, epic choir music for the bonus rooms. I am totally on board with it though. This has been a really good world, all things considered, though. Excellent use of the, uh, bubble hatches. Definitely something I would not have expected to become a, a fun gimmick, as they weren't used very well in the original game. Alright, now we've got to lure the crab out. And bada beam bada boom! That's it for Dust Garden. That was a fun world. Very fun. Really enjoying these levels. Seri like, I feel like I say that every time, but I really am enjoying the levels. This is so much fun to play, even though I'm getting my butt kicked a whole lot. Also, I only had to reset. No, I still had to reset for the bonus room on that one. That because that was a tricky puzzle. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was Dust Garden, levels 26 through 30. 
The next world, World 7, which is levels 31 through 35, is called Rugged Abyss. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that that's probably the Orange Caves, which were World 6 in the original game. But we'll wait and see next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.